Hey, thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Jason Sen. If you don't know me, I started trading on the London Stock Exchange floor in 1987 when I was 19 years old. Uh, about two years, three years later, I moved over to the floor of the London International Financial Futures Exchange in the early 90s. And I traded in the open outcry pits there until the end of the decade. And since then, I moved over to trading on the screens uh, when you know, all the markets went digital. So I've basically been doing that ever since, about 35 years to date that I have been involved in the financial markets. Over the last 15 years, I've been providing signals and technical analysis to banks and independent retail traders. And that business has certainly been doing very well for me. Through that process over those 35 years, basically when I started all those decades ago, well, firstly, the internet didn't even exist. Smartphones didn't even exist. Mobile phones were just coming in, but they were rather brick-like large objects. So I've really seen technology uh, explode in my lifetime. When I started, of course, there, there were books about trading, but there was no videos and no courses that you could really go on, you know, nothing online anyway. Basically, it was, it was a real trial and error. You know, you were thrown in the trading pit uh, with your own money and you either made money or you lost money. You had to learn really quickly. And as I say, it was very much by trial and error. So over the years, I've made loads of uh, rules. I've ended up writing loads of books uh, for my own benefit so that I can remember all the rules. And I've also published these now. I've just decided to release them for free for my YouTube followers. And I'm going to go through some of these in a series and I'm going to talk about what, what's in the content of the book. And then in the description box below, I'm going to give you a link. Uh, click the link if you want to receive uh, the series of six ebooks for free. I'm going to ask you to answer five simple questions. They're going to be either yes, no, true, false questions. It's going to take you five or six seconds just so I can learn a little bit about how your trading is going. Give me your email address and then I'll send you this series of ebooks over the next two or three weeks. Uh, you'll also get an opportunity to book a free mentor call with me. So you can you can actually talk to me when it works, book it up, and we can talk about your trading and perhaps ways that I can help you improve your trading. It's all free, no charge. It'd be interesting for me just to meet people uh, and um, see how you're getting on. Okay, so this video is called The Seven Deadly Sins of Trading. It's really just a, a quick summary of uh, my golden rules of trading and my 21 rules of survival, that kind of thing. But it's a quick run through. So here we go. Uh, the first sin is moving your stop further away from your entry price because it's close to being activated. We've, we've probably all done it. You know, the market's moving slowly towards your, your stop loss price. You're thinking, this isn't, you know, I don't want to get out here. The market's going to turn around and go uh, in the right direction. So I'm just going to move my stop out by another 10 pips, another 20 pips. You know, and you just keep doing this in the hope that the market reverses and then it never does. So many traders commit this crime. You just can't face taking that loss. We're just desperate for this trade to, to make a profit. So instead of taking the loss and moving on to the next trade, which probably will be a profitable one, we, we hang on and hang on and hang on and pray and hope that something happens to, to make the market turn around. We're looking for news, anything to sort of reinforce that we are in the right trade. We're, we're, we're trading in hope and desperation. What have we got here? Number two, adding to a losing trade in the hope prices suddenly turn around in your favor. Okay, so uh, similar sort of thing. Well, worse actually, because you know the market goes down and instead of getting out of the position when you should do, taking the loss and moving on to the next trade opportunity, you're actually adding. You're convincing yourself that the market is about to reverse. The problem is it may have happened in the past. So now you're convinced that it'll happen again, even though you know that, for example, say the big support level at which you were buying has been broken, but you're thinking, well, I wanted to buy it up there. So now I definitely want to buy it down here. You just keep averaging in, averaging in, getting more, buying more in the hope that one day the market turns around and reverses and goes up. Uh, it's not the great greatest strategy. You're, you're trading on hope. Uh, and you're just praying that things go right. Trading too big is my third deadly sin. Uh, and, and I speak to quite a few of my subscribers and followers, and this is definitely one of the big problems, trading too big. So it's actually being too greedy. I risk between one, maybe 2% on a trade. I would say that risking more than 5% on a trade is the third deadly sin. Just don't do it. As traders, we're in the market to build consistent profit and be here in the long run. We're not trying to get rich overnight. That's not going to happen. So by keep controlling your risk, controlling your losses, you can make sure that you are there to fight another day. Losing more on a trade than you intended to make. So if you have a profit target of 25 pips, you shouldn't be risking more than, say, 15 pips. Yeah, 
it, it makes sense. If you're only 50% right, if only 50% of your trades work, and in all of them you're risking 15 pips to make, I don't know, 25, 35, 45 pips, then you only need 50% of your trades to actually work for you to make a profit. So you've got to make sure that you keep your risk and your re and reward, keep it in the right ratio. Risk one to make two, risk one to make one and a half, risk one to make three. Uh, you, you, you've, got to, you've got to do that. Always try to make more than you're prepared to lose. Point number five is my fifth deadly sin is uh, letting a good profit turn into a loss. So I've actually done this as well. Uh, you're in a great profit, things are looking good, but you're getting greedy. You, ha you decide, no, I'm not gonna take the profit. The market's gonna keep going. You, you turn your back and then you come back, you look at the screen and the, and the price is just reversed. Most of your profit or all of your profit or in a worst case scenario, the position is now in a loss. Have a target, be happy when that target is hit. You may even have two or three targets. You don't have to get out of the position all in one go. If you've hit 15, uh, if you've hit 25 pips, you may decide to, decide to get out of a third of the position or a half of the position. You know, maybe there, maybe there is more potential profit, but take some profit and then move on. Okay, now we're up 35 pips. I'm gonna take some more profit. Again, maybe you don't wanna take all of the profit. Maybe you only wanna take half of what is left. You know, there's nothing wrong with that and learning how to run positions longer than you would, other, would otherwise do, but do take a profit and don't let that profit evaporate and especially don't let it turn into a loss. Okay, varying your position size. So people ask me, oh, you know, do you think this trade is gonna be a better trade than that trade? And, and I used to think that, yeah, you know, I'm gonna bet more on the trades which I think will do better. And I soon found out that that wasn't the case. And I was often so surprised at how many of the trades, which I didn't think would work particularly well, did better than the ones that I thought would work well. So my personal advice is risk the same amount on every trade. So whether that be $50, $100, whatever it is, 1% of your account, 2% of your account, just do the same thing on every trade. If you start varying the trade size, oh, I'm gonna risk you know, 5% on this trade, and I'm only gonna risk 1% on this trade. If the one that you're risking 5% on loses, you've now got to find two, three, four winners in order to make that back. And uh, that's not really a good idea. That's going to stress you out. It's, 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 you know, it's not a good strategy. Uh, my last of the seven deadly sins is not setting a stop loss when you enter a trade. Now, I've, I've uh, recorded a video of my 18 reasons why you have to use a stop loss. I've written an ebook on it. It is really one of, is, it is one of, if not the most important thing about trading is using a stop loss because if you don't protect your downside, if you don't protect your account, if you don't limit your losses, it'll all be over soon. You will blow a, a massive hole in your account or worst case scenario, you will lose everything. And uh, I don't know whether you're one of those people that has blown an account. I certainly am one of those people and I know lots of people that are. So always use a stop loss. And if you wanna know my 18 reasons why you should use a stop loss, please look for that video in this playlist. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, share, please make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell so that you know when I re release a new video. And please do click the link in the description box, sign up for my series of eBooks, and uh, then you will also get the opportunity to book a free mentor session with me, and I'll do whatever I can to help you with your trading during that session. Okay, thanks so much.